I'm Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at what we're going to call the old barn jar fountain. Now this is uh, an Aegean finish on this jar. What we call the Aegean finish is a really rough texture. Uh, it looks like an old pot and it kind of reminded me of an old barn. I was raised on a farm and some of the barns and buildings have been on there since the 1800s and they had different layers of paint on them and it would crackle and peel and it would kind of look like this. It kind of reminded me of that. So that's where the name came from. Uh, beautiful jar. Uh, these are one of the jars that kind of changes colors when they get wet. The colors in it are more vibrant when it gets wet. Uh, if you see it when it's dried, it won't look nearly as yellow as it looks right here. So there's yellow and brown. Uh, different colors in there are also beige, uh, almost a red brown. So it's got a multitude of colors in it. It's a very uh, rough texture to it. It's that very old antique looking jar. So you know, uh, sometimes you can pick a jar that'll contrast, some will blend. Uh, this is gonna be one of those that's probably gonna blend out in the landscape uh, with the hardscaping or things like that that you have. Uh, you can kind of see it stand out against this green tree here in the back, so it kind of gives you an idea of what it'll look like in your landscape. Uh, lighting is a plus on all these jars. Uh, up lighting on the outside, light on the inside on the plume. Now we do have a pump on this turned down some people don't want any plume, some people want a larger plume. Uh, you can kind of, uh, you know, pick what you want. Uh, the, fat, the pump that's going to come with it will have a little bit of an adjustment on it so you can adjust that flow of water. Uh, if you want a larger plume, let us know. We can outfit it with a larger pump. You don't want to uh, have a pump shooting so high that it'll, it'll make it splash outside of the basin. This is going to come standard with a 3x3 three three basin. If you want it to shoot up higher, uh, you can let us know that. We can up the size of the basin. You can certainly go higher than this on that 3x3 three three basin, though. But if you want to go like you know, anything over 4 or 5 inches in that plume at the top, you may want to consider going up to a larger basin. Right now, I'll grab the camera and we'll take a close-up look at this fountain. Really beautiful jar. And you'll see some gray in there, too. As I stand back here, I can kind of see some gray in it. But when it was dry, you really couldn't see that yellow too much. It looked kind of a cream color when it was dry. Uh, there's a patch of brown right there on the side of it. Now, these are all hand-applied finishes, so you will get variations in it. You can see it's got kind of a flat rim up there. Consistent all the way around. There's bumps and bulges and things on it. Uh, so it's a very primitive-looking jar. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny at southerngraceva